edition with regrouping. Today, we're going to talk about one of our favorite topics, math. No matter how you might feel about it, math is one of the most important subjects you can learn because you use math every day for so many of the things in your lives. Take how old you are, for example. This year, you're a certain age, and next year, you'll be a year older. Each year you live, one will be added to your age. Let's say you're now seven, and when you have your next birthday, you'll be eight. You are able to figure out that by adding one to seven to get eight. So eight was the sum of seven and one. Anytime you add two numbers together, the result is called the sum. For example, seven is the sum of two plus five. Six is the sum of five and one. Throughout your day, you add things together. Let's say you have four friends over for dinner, but only have two chairs at the table. You'll need to add more chairs so all five of you can sit. So to get five chairs, you'll need to add three to the two you already have. Two plus three equals five. This is known as basic math. However, when you need to add larger numbers together, you'll have to learn about addition with regrouping, also known as carrying. Regrouping is used to make groups of tens when you need to add larger numbers. Take a look at these dots. This is the number 13 represented in two different ways. On the left is a number 13 represented as 13 single dots. And on the right is a number 13 represented as a group of 10 dots and a separate group of 3 dots. In the second example, you've regrouped the number 13 meaning you've broken it down into the tens place and the ones place. There is one group of ten dots in the tens place and three single dots in the ones place. Here's a quick description of what we mean by tens place and ones place. Take the number 2359, for example. In that number, nine is in the ones place, five is in the tens place, three is in the hundreds place, and two is in the thousands place. You read numbers from left to right. The further left you go, the larger the number. Before we get to regrouping, let's review these basic addition problems. 27 plus 31 is 58. Do you see how we got that 58? You got the 7 and the 1 is 8. And then you have the 2 plus 3 equals 5. That's 58. Here, here's the next one. 53 plus 16. 3 plus 6 equals 9. 5 plus 1 is 6. 69. Okay, here's a little bit of a tougher one. 109 plus 870. So you have the 9 plus 0, which gives you 9. 0 plus 7, which gives you 7. And 1 plus 8, which gives you 9. 979. Well done! Okay, last one. 2,768 plus 3,211. 8 plus 1 is 9. 6 plus 1 is 7. 7 plus 2 is 9. And 2 plus 3 is 5. 5,979. Well done! Notice how all the sums in each place value column equal to less than 10. So we don't need to regroup. But now, let's step things up. Let's say you want to add the number 68 and the number 27 together. That would definitely require some regrouping. Hey, let's dive right in. Remember, regrouping must be done for all place value columns when they are greater than 9. Okay, so here we have 68 plus 27. First, add the numbers in the ones column. The sum of 8 and 7 is 15. And since you can't write 15 in that column, it needs to be regrouped into 110 and 5 ones. You write the 5 ones in the column below the 8 and 7. See here, like this. Then you take the 110 and regroup it by writing it above the 6 and 2 in the tens column. Then you add as usual. So you end up with a 5 in the 1's column and a 1 plus 6 plus 2 or 9 in the 10's column. So the sum of 68 plus 27 is 95. How super simple is that? That's pretty fun, isn't it? Take a look at these examples and see if you can do the regrouping. 
Regrouping has been used with tens only in example A and B. In example C, regrouping has been done for the hundreds place, and in example D, for the thousands place. Let's work through these. Example A, you've got 57 plus 26. So 7 plus 6 is 13. So the 3 goes in the ones place. A 1 goes in the tens place and goes up by 5. 1 plus 5 plus 2 equals 8. So 57 plus 26 is 83. Super simple. Well done. Okay, here we go. We've got 62 plus 48. So we've got the 2 and the 8 equal 10. So a 0 goes in the ones column. A 1 goes up in the tens column near the 6. So we have 1 plus 6 plus 4 is, yep, 11. So 62 plus 48 is 110. Now you're getting it. All right, let's get something a little more difficult here. Uh, example C, 147 plus 587. I'm going to give you a minute to see if you can figure this one out for yourself. So go ahead and pause the video and see if you can get this one on your own. Welcome back. All right, let's see how you did. 147 plus 587. So you've got the 7 plus the 7 is 14. So the 4 goes in the 1's column. Carry the 1 up to the 10's column. So you have 1 plus 4 plus 8, which is 13. The 3 goes down, and a 1 goes up in the 100's column. And you have 1 plus 1 plus 5 is 7. So it's 734. Did you get it? I knew you could do it. Well done. All right, let's move up a level. Example D. We've got 6,993 plus 4,438. Pause the video and see if you can do this one on your own. I'll wait. Welcome back. Here we go. 6,993 plus 4,438. So you've got the 3 plus the 8 is 11. So a 1 goes down in the 1's column. Carry the 1 up to the 10's column. So you have 1 plus 9 plus 3. What is that? Yep, that is 13. So a 3 goes down and a 1 goes up into the 100's column. So 1 plus 9 plus 4 equals what? Yep, 14. Carry the 1 up into the thousands column. So you've got 1 plus 6 plus 4, which is 11. So what do you got? Yep, 11,431. Great job. You got this. Notice in example D, when you regroup the tens and the hundreds, the nines are changed to tens. And one more thing. If you're regrouping and you need to add more than two numbers, you might end up adding two tens, not just one. So in this example, 19 plus 86 plus 28. See how when you add 9 and 6 and 8, you get 23. That means you put the 3 below the 1's column and the 2 to the 10's column. So the sum of 19 plus 86 plus 28 is 133. You see? You get it? Super simple, isn't it? Well done. When you think about it, regrouping is just like basic addition, but you carry tens and hundreds and thousands over to the next column. That's why they also call it carrying. Remember, the more you practice, the closer you'll be to mastering regrouping, so that someday you too can be a regrouping superhero. Hope you had fun learning with us. Visit us at learnbright.org for thousands of free resources and turnkey solutions for teachers and homeschoolers.